I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackier.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new AGV K5 helmet. The K5 sells for $349 for solids and $399 for graphics currently. Sizing available is going to span from extra small all the way to 2X. And with this helmet, they split the medium size into medium small and medium large to give you that really dialed in fit. No restocking fees here at STG. You buy the helmet from us, wear it in the house all you need to before you ride in it. Make sure you love the fit. That way, if you need to send it back for return or exchange, Avoid every hassle, avoid every fee. Additionally, we have low cost return shipping labels available for our customers. Now, of course, free shipping for any order over $40 to the lower 48 United States, really affordable and super fast DHL international shipping. You'll see throughout this video, I wrote in this helmet before I did the review. I really think that's the right way. You're looking to spend $350, $400 on a helmet the review should encompass a whole lot more than the bullet points that you read in the catalog, right? That's my opinion. When I look at this helmet, I see a street riding helmet, right? It offers the drop down inner screen. That is a, definitely a fantastic option as you go from conditions where you need a tinted screen to where you don't. It's literally at the flip of a lever. This is not a new feature. We've seen this out for many years now. It is definitely a good solid addition to any road going helmet. Let's talk about the field of vision with that drop down screen while we're on it. I found the way they executed this, right? For me, it was perfect. I didn't have any issues with it. I didn't have any strange optics with the two shields. Nice job, great feature. The ride I was on, I was out for about 20 minutes or so in it. I went from needing it and not needing it. It was easy to bring it up. It was easy to put it back down, no worries. So I would say, Good job there. It's not in the line of sight or anything strange. It's not bothersome. It just does exactly what it should do. Weight, 3.65 pounds on our digital shipping scale in a medium large. That's the size that I chose. I measure 58 centimeters intermediate oval head shape. I would say the shape of the helmet for the most part is inter intermediate oval and this medium large fit me exactly as I wanted. To qualify that, when I'm on the racetrack, I also have an AGV helmet, a Corsa. I wear a medium small in that. I want a really tight vice-like fit when I'm on the racetrack. But when I'm on the street, I want more comfort for the longer haul. And the medium large fit me perfect. So I would say use the size chart and choose the size accordingly. You should be good to go. Certifications. Of course, DOT. It is also ECE 2205 certified. We talked about the shield, right? Let's talk about ventilation now. On the top, we have two intake vents here at the brow. It can be switched on or off. We have a centrally located vent here that can be switched on or off as well. Vent here in the chin. It has that you know, hidden switch behind the chin bar, which is kind of a cool feature. Back of the helmet built into the diffuser, here is your switchable exhaust vent. Honestly, the exhaust vent, I don't know why they bothered to put a switch on it because end of the day, if there's nothing coming in the front of the helmet, right, it's not gonna come out the back. So for the most part, you'll find you'll just leave that on all the time. What I wanna talk about right now is effectiveness of these vents. The vents on the top of the helmet, they work, but it's not an epic level of airflow, okay? The vent here on the chin bar, on the other hand, is very effective. It drives a ton of air into the helmet. I found that it hit me right about here, right about at cheek level. It wasn't blowing into my eyes, so I didn't have any issue with dry eyes or anything like that when I was riding in it, but right here at cheek level. When you switch that vent off, like I said, the effectiveness of the ones on the top, not even close to the one here on the bottom. You see that oftentimes when you get a helmet with a, a drop down inner screen because this interferes a little bit. You know, as it pulls up into the EPS, that kind of interferes 
with the airflow and such inside the helmet, you can't bring it directly onto the rider as effectively as you could without that. So for a helmet with a drop down inner screen, I would say the ventilation is absolutely where it should be. Noise level, it's not overly loud. It's also not overly quiet. So I'm gonna say it's right in the middle in terms of noise production. Overall, it's a good looking helmet. AGV has always done a great job with their lines. It's available in two shell sizes and four EPS sizes, so they can really dial in the fit for the rider. Some available options with it, additional parts that come with it. We have some ear pads that you can install in the helmet if you're not going to use a communicator. There's a little filter that you can use to filter the intake vent up here. We'll show you that in a minute. And you also have the ability to change the detents on the shield itself. It comes with the red one in stock. You've got a blue that offers two levels. You've got a green that offers more micro levels of adjustment. It has a demisting feature that's built in right here. You push up on that, gives you just a very slight shield crack. That'll help to demist the helmet in heavy fog conditions. That's a nice feature, definitely effective for sure. Shield mechanism itself, this is one that they've been using for a while. It works just fine to release. Simply pull down and the shield pops out. Reproduce that on the other side. Good to go to reinstall. Dip it in the channel, push in. They've reduced moving parts. You know, instead of a metal spring in here, you're using the plastic. This has been a good visor mechanism. It holds up really well, stands the test of time, no problem. Something else they've done that's a little bit different with this helmet, the outer shield, there are two sizes to choose from, okay? The first one is going to fit the smaller shells, extra small through medium small. The second shield will fit large all the way up to 2XL. We delineate that on the website, so it's pretty easy to choose which one you're going to need. But make sure when you select your helmet, don't just throw one of them in the cart. Look at the listing. It'll show you which one is the right to choose. Liner. Helmet comes with a removable chin curtain. It's got a really thick neck roll to it. The neck roll is actually integrated into the cheek pads. The fabric they used here, it's nice, it's comfortable, it's moisture wicking. Definitely a higher end fabric for sure. This helps to reduce the noise of the helmet quite a bit, especially this chin curtain right up in here. It is removable. When you remove it, it helps to reduce fogging inside the helmet because it allows the air to escape through the bottom a little bit. So you got to kind of temper, you know, whether you want to leave this in, depending on if you're okay with a little more noise, you know, it's a little cooler out, it's going to fog more, you pull this out, it allows the air to escape, and that's definitely going to help combat the fog. It does have an anti-fog shield, right? But still, at the end of the day, it can be overwhelmed. That was my experience with it. And when it's overwhelmed, the more airflow you have in it, the more effective it's going to be. The entire interior is removable, replaceable, and washable. Glasses fit. Most of the helmets today now are coming this way. They have reduced the padding that's used here in the area where the glasses need to slide in. So if you do wear glasses, this helmet is designed to allow the glasses to slide right on. Let's go ahead and disassemble the interior now. I'll give you a little closer look from the inside out. We're going to start with the cheek pads. And remember, the cheek pads and the neck roll are all one piece. So you're going to do both cheek pads, get all the snaps released, a little Velcro at the front, and then up here at the front, grab a hold of the assembly and give it a good tug like so. Work your way around, come to the other side, and here is your cheek pad and neck roll assembly. Top pad, we have a combination of snaps with a little bit of Velcro up in the brow area. This screen that it comes with, if you were in fact to choose to use this, you would Velcro it in place right here and that would just help to quiet the helmet a little further on the inside if you feel the need to do that. It would also slow down the ventilation so 
you really want to think before you put that in there if you're okay trading off a little bit of ventilation. Inside the helmet, you can see all the channeling inside the EPS. Here are the intakes from the front air ducts. It is communication system ready. You can see all you have to do is pull out these little inserts right here. It'll accept the speakers. AGV has a communication system. If you want to add that onto this helmet, obviously it's designed to fit that. It's also going to be compatible with all of the other stuff in the market. As I said before, the chin curtain itself is removable. They've really done a great job the way they put this in there. I mean, this, this thing is in there. You got a little Velcro here at the back, and then the tabs they have holding this thing on, they are very effective. You want to make sure you grab a hold of the plastic retainer and hold it firmly as you work this around to pull it out. Very positive engagement there. It's padded. It definitely adds to the noise reduction of the helmet. We'll show you the switch for the chin vent right there. All in all, what do I think? I would say it's a good solid helmet. It didn't do anything horrible when I wrote it. I think it did a great job. The features all worked as described. Ventilation on top, you know, like I said, it, it wasn't extreme. It wasn't horrible, but also it wasn't extreme. That was made up for on some level by having the chin vent being very, very effective. Now that could be an issue with maybe a contacts wear, right? If you've got a lot of air coming in the face area, I know if you wear contacts, that can be a problem. So you may want to consider that. But overall, good quality piece. This is the AGV K5 helmet. I'm Brian Van, sportbikedrackier.com.